Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope your yeah, days are going good and your lives are going even better than that. We are gonna be jumping into the band known as Ignea with a song called M Magura's Last Kiss. This is a Patreon request. My good friend school collector Solvieg in the Discord or um, sound familiar on YouTube requested this he gets two every two months as he does a bunch of extra shit for like modding and lots of other stuff so I give him a few extra benefits just because he helps me out quite a lot with a lot of stuff man, but still. he wants me to do this and one other igneous song he wants me to do Gen Slam I think it's called it's one of those names anyway and yeah without further ado we're gonna jump into it I've only ever heard um, Alga that's the only song I've ever heard by Ignea so Let's see what their latest shit sounds like compared to where we started, man. So, yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna try to break this out as best as I can. I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna, like, enjoy it. It's, like, partially English, partially not. I forgot where they're from originally, like, country-wise, but... Obviously, in their native tongue, but... It sounds so ominous and dark though, the way that she's just like going about it. I love it. It's gonna build and build and fucking drop me, I think. Okay, weirdly, I'm getting, like, Epica vibes from it. Like, I know it's not Epica, like, I'm not, like, like, saying that, like, to any kind of fucking degree, mate, but, like, I'm just getting proper Epica vibes from it. Like, the way, the, like, the orchestration is kind of, like, filling me up in the way that kind of an Epica song does. Um, obviously, Epica uses a lot of Latin in their music, so it's similar, not the same, obviously. And, obviously, it's Simone and Mark, like, so it's two different vocalists, and with this, it's just her. And her voice is actually... Much better than when I last heard, actually. Alga was good, but I think they're getting better, which is a positive. That's a plus right there. So, musically, it's cool. It's simple right now, but I think it's going to get more complex because that's what Alga did. It started off with, like, a huge arrangement of a symphony. And then it kind of went back into, like, a proper metal song and then pure symphonic metal. And then, you know, you get the idea. So, lyrically, where are we going with the song? Obviously, I didn't translate these bits. I could have done, but I wanted to experience it without knowing, like, because that's how generally it's meant to be known, it's meant to sound, I don't even know the word for it, but almost whismical, like, as in, like, um, not demonic, but, like, deep and dark and just, like, have that kind of, like, flair about it, like, when Slaughter to Prevail go Russian in some of their songs, and when they do really heavy breakdowns in Russian, it just sounds very demonic, and that's not that similar kind of a style about it, but still, mate, Battle Cry enchanting lullaby because like the battle cry will obviously kill people so obviously it's an enchanting lullaby into the next world the armor pierced with anger the warlike sight is gazing through the helmet the falcon's wild descendants so basically like the armor is pierced with anger obviously because all the warriors are fighting for their lives they're fighting for everything for freedom for things for themselves for every other thing you can imagine for their own specific life their country whatever the hell else they have on their mind in the process so it's filled with emotion not just anger i would say pure fucking emotion but you get the idea so delicate lace on my eyes like obviously in the video she's wearing she's wearing a lace over her eyes as in like I think there's like a fucking term for it. I don't remember the exact term for it, but it's basically where you have that, where like you, you're wearing like a lace across your eyes so you don't see exactly what's going on as in where 
you see things that, like better than they actually are if you know what i mean you see things in like a very di in, in like a positive point of view instead of seeing the world for how it actually is and i can't remember the fucking term for it for the life of me but i think you get what i mean i don't see wars and fighting i hear no losses and no cries soldiers it's time lay down your arms like i agree like i wish like the soldiers of the lands would be like you know what you fuck you you politicians we are gonna say no we're not we're not going i don't give a singular fuck what you say imagine if every soldier in the board was like you know what mate nah mate i refuse i ain't going and every and every soldier did it they're just like you know what we're not gonna fight for you anymore we're not gonna kill people for no reason other than oil or profit or money or whatever the fuck is fueling the, the politicians in putin's case right now it's fucking land and protection obviously because like while it is putin's fault and obviously he's killing a lot of people it's also the EU's fault. Like, it's both sides, not just one specific side about it. And I really wish that it would happen, that, like, wars would stop. But I very much doubt it, to be perfectly honest. But either way, let's keep going and see where this song is going to take us. It's a fucking beautiful switch into the bridge one. That's gorgeous. I mean, so the vibe I'm getting from this personally is that she's kind of like a Valkyrie. She's like a maiden. She's um. A like, you know, somebody who escorts people from the world of the living to the world of the dead in Valhalla. Like, that type of stuff. Like, I don't know if that's accurate, but that's the kind of vibe I am getting from the lyrics. So, no explosions and no blood. The wounds held up so tightly. Bravery is in the past. Peace can be bold and knightly. Like, obviously, those things are all true because peace is harder to keep than war. War is very easy to manage. It's normal for war to happen in the world. We are very much destructive beings in that sense. But what's better? Is it better to live in peace or is it better to start wars? It's obviously better to be peaceful. Like being, keeping peace is the hardest thing to do. And that's the thing that we all forget. Like it's very easy to hit somebody in the face. It's difficult to restrain yourself and to talk out the situation and to kind of resolve it in a positive sense. And that's what a lot of us forget. Especially on things like the internet and YouTube where we can all just say what we want, type what we want and just basically like threaten and harm people and lots of other things like that. It's it's sad in a way but like when, when humans don't have to identify as anything they kind of just you know what I don't give any fucks anymore because they just don't. It's just like you know what I'm anonymous but does it matter to me? Like it's a time where we can be truly who we are. And if you, truly who you are is a troll or a dickhead or somebody who's going to threaten somebody on the internet, then are you really that good person you appear to be on in within your real life? Depending on your real life, obviously. But you get the idea, mate. So, cloud maiden with a heart that's torn apart, I have kissed too many souls. They flew away to a heavenly place. The gates closed forevermore. So these warriors have gone to this next round, this next place, through the gates either of heaven, the gates of Valhalla. It could be any of those things and man let's keep going <laughs> well, i love when she goes back into this tongue man you'll have to let me know what language it is but
that is awesome man oh Igne. we dedicate this song and this video to all the brave ukrainians who have been and who are defending our land oh they're literally ukrainian i didn't know that okay who are pre preserving the sovereign the sovereignty of our country and who give hope for the peaceful future of the ukraine i agree totally like i totally get where they're coming from why this is here now like why they're like doing everything that they're doing in order for this so is it like a long is it like a long outro or yeah it's all like credits at the end i think yeah okay that's cool mate I thought the song was going to be much longer because the video is way longer than what the song actually is, man. But it's a good message. And I can totally see, like, you know, where they're dedicating the song towards because it very much fits that theme of war and death and destruction. And I put it towards Russia without even realising it was literally meant to be that way, mate. So, <laughs> I guess it fucking hit the nail right on the head right there. So, what vibes is it giving me? It's giving me very much epic vibes, like I said. Her growls remind me of Alyssa. Um, her Cleans don't, her growls very much remind me of Alyssa. Like, Alyssa's cleans generally, from what I've heard, are better, but her cleans are still very good. Like, she has a very sorrowful tone towards her voice. Like, it's passionful, but it needs a tad bit more power for it to be perfect. But she's doing amazing. Compared to when I last heard Ignia, compared to when I last heard all of these things. Um, it's crazy how much they've changed, and I'm digging it, man. It's awesome. And yeah, the last bits of the lyrics, so... Uh, virus? I have no idea how to say that word. I'm cold, and nothing holds you here. Paradise awaits. Take your pain, remember my last kiss. You are the final one last in vain. The pieces of my shattered heart, trapped with fallen heroes. With the many souls I fly away to an heavenly place, I kiss myself to death. So, she, like, like a Valkyrie, maybe like an angel of death, in a sense where she's the one taking souls to that next world, where she's like, you know what? You died valiantly, you died in a place where you fought for everything you believed in, and... All we ever wanted was peace, and we're going to take you to a place where you can finally relax and have that peace you fought for for so long, and fought for your freedom, for everybody's freedom, for our freedom, and against tyrants and ignorance and everything else that's about it, and honestly, it's such a beautiful song, like, I very much thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too, thank you so much for, this is the first ever proper Patreon paid request, how crazy is that, man? Like, if you go to any of my tiers on my Patreon, there are tiers where you can go, any tier grants you three, up to three songs on the Twitch um, live stream every Sunday. So that gives you, like, basically top of the list of requests as you basically pay for it. And then the higher tiers you go, you get guaranteed requests either bi-monthly, more than one or two a month, or you get the idea. And yeah, it just depends on where you want to go, how much you want to support every patron is special to me personally as it's just helping me get closer towards my dream of just having a full-time youtube career so yeah thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day evening or night and i will catch you guys in the very next video until then take it easy